So now I want to separate these blanks because currently you can see that all of them are connected with each other. Go to edit mode, press A to select all. Hit P and choose by loose parts. This will separate each blank individually. First I will scale down this one so that it fits into the frame. Now edit each of the blank this way so that they look diverse. Now I will speed it up. Once you're happy with it, select all the planks, Control J and it will join them back. Now I want to place this part at the side of the house, so select these four bars, Shift D and it will duplicate them. Press G and place them right here. R, Z and type in minus 90 to rotate them under 90 degrees this way. Place them right here. Let's move this apart a little bit. Alt H and it will reveal the planks we had hidden earlier. Shift D to duplicate. Move it out of the way. Now hide it back. We will need them again. R Z and type in minus 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. Now place them right here where we placed our bars. Increase the count so it fits in our frame. In edit mode press A to select all and press P to choose by loose bars. Now do the same what we did earlier, just make them diverse and old. Once you're happy, select them all and press Ctrl J to join them back. Press Alt H to reveal what we had hidden. First, if I click on this icon, now we won't see the array modifier in the viewport. I'm doing this so that we can place this more easily. Press G and place this plank slightly at the top of our window. If I check this icon again, now we can see that the array modifier decreased the count. I don't want to edit the shelter of our window like we did before. Now, let's do some roofing. To do that, we will duplicate this set of planks and we'll use them to fill our roof. Shift D, duplicate, right click to clear its movement. Move them up. Move them to this side of our house on the Y axis. Place it on the roof. Now let's try to rotate it so that it could align with our roof. Maybe scale it up. Once you're happy with it, Shift D duplicate. Press Y and move it on the Y axis. Now Shift D and move it to this bare spot. Select these vertices, press Ctrl L to select all the linked vertices. Hit X and select vertices. Once you're happy with the way they look, select them all and duplicate them and move them to fill the bare roof. Maybe scale them.
I guess I should flip this one horizontally so they are not like all the same. Now move them to the other side of the house which is bare. Select all the parts and press Ctrl J to join them all.